This morning I begin with an excerpt from Tao Shu Buddha Upanishad Volume 2 Religion Without God. How does a real master book? How does a real master book? An excerpt from Tao Shu Buddha Upanishad Volume 2 religion without God. There is a question. We, in our unawareness and egoistic state, are not always in touch with the Master. But is the Master always in touch with us? I repeat the question. We, in our unawareness and egoistic state, are not always in touch with the Master. But is the Master always in touch with us? Yes, the Master is always in touch with not only you, instead with the entire existence. You may not be aware of it most of the time. Indeed, a master is in touch with all the four layers of you. Your conscious layer is the only one of the four layers. But that is possible only when you have surrendered and accepted him as your master, not before that. If you are just a student learning, then you are in touch. Then when you are in touch, the master is in touch. When you are not in touch, he is also not in touch. You have to understand this phenomenon. You have four layers of mind. The super mind, which is the possibility of the future, of which only seeds you can, but nothing has yet sprouted. Only seeds are just the potentiality is there. The second layer is the conscious mind. It is very small fragment with which you reason, think, decide, argue, doubt, believe. This conscious mind is in touch with the master to whom you have not yet surrendered. So whenever this is in touch, the master is in touch. If this is not in touch, then the master is not in touch. You are a student and you have not yet taken master as a master. You still think him as a teacher. Teacher and student exist in the conscious mind. Nothing can be done because you are not open. All your three doors are closed still. The third is super conscious mind. It is just a seed. You cannot open its doors. And then the subconscious mind, this is just below the conscious mind that is possible if you love. If you are here with me only because of your reasoning, your conscious door is open. Whenever you open it, I am there. If you do not open it, I am outside and then I cannot enter. Just below the conscious is the subconscious layer or subconscious mind. If you are in love with me, not just as a teacher and a student relationship, but more intimate, a love-like relationship, then the subconscious door is open. Many times you will close the conscious door because of the reasoning or I have said something which did not appeal to you or hurt you 
you immediately close the conscious door. But because it, you love me, your subconscious door is open. Is still the master can you? Many times you close the conscious door, you will argue against me. Sometimes you will be negative and dead against me. But that does not matter. The unconscious door of love is open and I can always remain in touch with you. But that too is not the perfect door because sometimes you can hate me. If you hate me, you have closed that door also. Love is there. But the opposite, hate is also there. Hate is always there with love. The second door will be more open than the first because first changes its mood as fast that even you do not know. One moment you are talking to me, next moment you are against. Any moment it goes on changing. Just one moment it was here, the next moment it is not there. It is the momentary feeling. Love is a little longer. It also changes its moods, but its moods have longer periods. Sometimes you hate me. In 30 days almost there will be 8 days, 1 week and 4 days you will hate me. You will not talk to me. But, but three weeks, it is open. With the reason a week is too long like eternity. With the reason one moment it is here and another moment against. Far and against the game goes on. If the second door is open, you are in love with me. Even if the door with the reason is closed, I am in contact. I am in touch with you. The, the third door is below subconscious, that is unconscious. Reasons open the first door. If you feel convinced with me, love opens the second door, which is bigger than the first. If you are in love with me, not convinced, but in love, feeling an affinity, a harmony, affection. The third door opens only by surrender. If you are initiated by me, if you have taken the jump into initiation and set to me, now you be my mind. Now you take the reins of me. Now you guide me and I will follow you. Not that you will always be able to do it, but just the very gesture that you surrender opens the third door. The third door remains open. You may be against me rationally, it does not matter. I am in touch. You may hate me, it does not matter. I am in touch. Because the third door always remains open, you have surrendered and it is very difficult to close the third door. Very, very difficult. It is difficult to open. It is difficult to open and also it is difficult to close. It is difficult to open, but not as difficult as to close it. But that too can be closed because you have opened it. That too can be closed. You can decide one day. You can decide one day to take your surrender back. Or you go and surrender yourself to somebody else. But that never, almost never happens. 
because with the three doors the master is working to open the fourth door the last the mysterious one so there is almost a possible possibility that you will take back your sarvi that you will take back your sarvi before you have taken it you must have opened the fourth door which is beyond you you cannot open or close it the door that you open you remain the master to close it all but the fourth has nothing to do with you that is the super conscious all these three doors are needed to open so the master can forge a key for the fourth door because you do not have the key for the fourth otherwise you yourself can open it the master has to force the key this is forged key because the owner himself does not have the key the whole effort of the master is to have enough time that these three doors to enter to the fourth and forge the key to open it once it is opened you are no more you cannot do anything now you may close all the three doors but the master has the key for the fourth and he is always in contact then even if you die it does not matter you go to the very end of the earth or the moon nothing makes any difference the master has the key for the fourth door and in fact the real master never keeps the key with him he opens the door the fourth door and throws the key in the ocean so there is so there is no possibility to steal it or do anything now once the fourth door is open nothing can be done i have forged a fourth key with many of you and have thrown it so there is unnecessary no trouble now it is futile now nothing can be done once the fourth door is open then there is no problem all problems exist before it because at the very last moment the master was getting ready the key because the key is difficult for millions of lives the doors has remained closed and has gathered all sorts of rust it looks like a wall now instead a door it is difficult to find where the lock is and everybody has a separate lock so there is no master key one key cannot help because everybody is as individual as your thumbprint nobody has that print anywhere not in the past never in the future future your thumbprint will be simply yours a single phenomenon it is never repeated your inner lock is also like your thumbprint it is absolutely personal unique and individual no master key hey that is why a master is need because a master key cannot be purchased otherwise once a key is made everybody is to can be open no everybody has a separate type of a door a separate type of lock his own locking system and you have to watch and find and forge a key a special key for it once the fourth door is open then the master is in constant touch with you you may forget him completely but it makes no difference you may not remember him that too makes no difference the master leaves the body it makes no difference wherever he is wherever you are the door is open 
and this door exists beyond time and space. That is why it is called the super mind. It is super conscious. Only when the fourth door is opened that you are in touch with the master. Otherwise, with the third door, he is more or less in contact. However, with the second door, half the time, almost he is in contact. With the first door, the contact is only momentary. When you open the door, he can come in. It is a conscious door. So allow the master to open the fourth door and remember the fourth door is open in a certain moment. That moment is when all your three doors are open. Even if a single door is closed, the fourth cannot be opened. It is a, like a mathematical puzzle. And this condition is needed. In the process, first your conscious door is open, then your second door opens. This is your subconscious, your love you have surrendered. You have taken a step into initiation and the third unconscious door opens. When all the three doors are open, then in a certain moment the fourth can be opened. When all the three doors are open, then in a certain moment the fourth can be opened. So it happens that while you are awake, the fourth door is difficult to open. So it happens that while you are awake, the fourth door is difficult to open. So my real book is not in the day, it is in the night. When you are fast asleep, snoring, because then you cannot create any trouble for the master. You are so fast asleep that you do not reason against, reason far against. You have forgotten about reason. In deep sleep your heart functions well. You are more loving than when you are awake. Because when you are awake, many fears surround you. Your logic, your arguments come in. And because of fear, love is not possible. However, when you are fast asleep, fear disappears, love flowers, and remember love is night flower. Have you ever watched the flowers that flower in the night, night queen, the flower that blossoms in the night? Love is a night queen. It flowers in the night only. It is because of you and there is no other reason. It can flower even in the day when you are awake, when you are conscious, but then you have changed yourself. But then for that love to happen during the day, you have to change yourself. Tremendous change is needed before love can flower in the day. That is why you see when people are intoxicated, they are more loving. Go into any tower where people have drunk so much, they are almost always one. See two drunkards moving on the street, hanging on to each other's shoulders. So loving as if they are one, they are asleep. Conscious mind is not working. When you are not afraid, only then love flowers. Fear is the poison. And when deep down in sleep, you are already surrendered. Because sleep is surrender. And if you have surrendered to a master, he can enter into your sleep. You will not be, you will not be even able to hear his footsteps. He can enter silently in you. It is fortune. Just like thieves enter in the night when you are asleep, a master is a thief of innocence. When you are fast asleep and you do not know,
when you are fast asleep and you do not know what is happening, he enters me and opens the fourth door. He enters in you and opens the fourth door. Once the fourth door is open, then there is no problem. Every effort and every trouble that you can create, you can create only before the fourth is open. The fourth is a point of no return. Once the fourth door is open, the master can 24 hours with you beyond time and space. Once the fourth door is open, the master can 24 hours be with you beyond time and space. There is no problem there. He is in your thoughts. He is in your heart. He reflects through your actions. Every moment his energy surrounds you. Sometimes it comes like an eclipse before the fourth door opens. The eclipse keeps on coming to you. Sometimes you even feel that the master is just standing around you. You even envision his shadows. You hear his footsteps. This is the subtle energy that surrounds you. Once the fourth door is open, And remember, fourth can open only when all the three doors are open. And once the fourth door is open, there is no problem anymore. Every effort and every trouble that you can create is no more thing. Every trouble that you, your conscious mind can create your unconscious mind can create, your subconscious mind can create is not there. Every effort and every trouble that you can create, you can create only before the fourth door is open. Through the conscious mind you can create the trouble. You may close completely a sentence is spoken, the door is closed. A gesture, the conscious door is closed. It is very vulnerable. It depends on you. It depends on your inner message. You can create trouble. You can create every effort to close it, but that can happen only uh, before the fourth door is open. Fourth door is point of no return. Point of no return. Once the fourth door is open, then the things are not in your head. Master can 24 hours be with you, in touch with you, Beyond time and space, there is no problem. And when there is no problem, then why should I continue? That is the end.